Hello, my name is Gordon Houston and I love board games. And today I'm going to share with you my top five board games from my cupboard. I think over the past year, a lot of us have spent a lot of time at home. And a great way to pass the time is by playing board games when you're fed up of looking at a screen or at your phone. So I want to share with you my top five board games. Before we begin, I just want to let you know that all of the games I'm going to show you today are in no particular order and can be played with only two players. So they are a perfect addition to anyone's cupboard to add something new to play with your bubble. First, I'm going to show you 221B Baker Street. It's a Sherlock Holmes game. I think this is so much better than Cluedo. You're not finding a random selection of cards in a pocket and working them out through process of elimination. There are 75 unique cases to be solved. Everyone gets the case brief and you move from location to location collecting clues and want to race back to 221B Baker Street to solve the mystery before anyone else. Great fun. Next. I want to show you Monopoly Deal. It is part of Hasbro's Shuffle Collection, which is card-based versions of their bigger board games. It is perfect to travel with. It comes with this handy travel case. It is very easy to pick up and play. It is very fast-paced and means you can fall out with your friends anywhere. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce to you Disney's Villainous. This is my new favourite board game. It is wonderfully designed. You choose from six different Disney villains in the main game, but you can get expansions to add more villains into the mix. Each villain has their own set of goals and their own deck of cards. So your aim is to achieve your goals while trying to stop all of the other villains from achieving theirs. It is a great game and every time you play it is different depending on which villains you have chosen to play as and which villains your opponents have chosen to play as. Next, I want to introduce you to Boss Monster, a fantastic easy to pick up and play card game where you play as a monster trying to build up their dungeon to lure heroes and collect their souls while stopping your opponents from doing the same. And last but not least, this is Dino Genix. Have you ever wanted to build your own Jurassic Park? This is your chance to do it. You are playing against the other players to try and build the most successful park over a number of seasons while trying to stop the other players' parks from being as successful as yours. What's interesting about this game is that it also has a one-player campaign mode. You can get this game and you can play through a set series of game modes just by yourself. Before I go, I do have an honourable mention. The reason this is an honourable mention is because you do need three players minimum to play this. Joking hazard. It's from the guys over at Cyanide and Happiness, if you've ever seen their adult comic strips online. It's a bit like... Cards Against Humanity, but you're making a three-frame comic strip and the person who created the funniest one wins. I prefer this to Cards Against Humanity as I think the cards in that game can get a wee bit stale. I think it's a lot funnier and it's visual, which I think is always great. So I would thoroughly recommend this one for parties of three or more. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and that you will consider picking up one or more of the games to add some entertainment to your evenings with your bubble. What games do you enjoy playing? Is there any that you just can't stop playing? Any that you've added to your cupboard recently that you really enjoy? Let us know. Thank you very much and have a good day.